Today I'm reviewing three jackpad adapters. Two I purchased last year and one I made this year. In the previous video, I showed you my process for rotating the tires on a Model 3. I mentioned that you should use jack pad adapters that fit into the jack points to make sure the battery pack is not damaged when lifting. Here are the three examples of jack pad adapters. I will list where you can get these adapters in the video description. The first one I purchased last year was the very first available online. It's a 3D printed from hard plastic and has two layers of very hard rubber attached to the bottom. On the top is a round plug that gets inserted into the jack point under the car. It uses a magnet to attach itself to the opening and stays in pretty well. The rectangle shape is different from all the other adapters I've seen. One advantage is that you can put this adapter on a jack stand since it is fairly wide. It requires a floor jack that has a large saddle and it's the most pricey at $35 each. The next adapter is made by Reverse Logic and was the second adapter I found online last year. It uses a round design and is the smallest of the three. It is machined from strong acetyl plastic and has a thin rubber pad where it would touch the car. The post has a silicone o-ring that allows it to stay in the jack point hole. It is the second most expensive at $25 each. Lastly, here is a version I made from instructions I found online. These use standard 6 ounce hockey pucks, rubber bumpers, and some wood screws. This adapter works similarly to the reverse logic. The rubber bumper allows the adapter to stay in the jack point. This solution is easy to make and very inexpensive. I will post a how-to video soon. Here we see the rear jack point of the car. I'm going to test the three adapters and show you how they fit into the opening. First up is the do-it-yourself version made from the hockey puck. Next we have the reverse logic adapter. And finally, we have the rectangle 3D printed adapter. The post is much narrower than the other two, but it uses the magnet to stay firmly attached. Here is how each of the adapters look on a large saddle floor jack. I checked recently and there's also a large number of generic adapters I have found on eBay. Here is one that seems similar to the reverse logic adapter except it's made out of aluminum with a rubber o-ring and it seems very reasonable at $13 each. This one looks particularly good if you have a jack that has a small saddle. To sum it all up, of the two purchase adapters, the rectangle one, while useful on a jack stand, is far too expensive. While the reverse logic works well too, it is also expensive. I recommend making your own. It costs roughly half to almost one-seventh as much as the more expensive models. I'll detail how you can make your own in the next video. I would recommend that you purchase or make four of these jack pad adapters. Some situations where this would come in handy include tire rotations, auto repair shops, state inspections, and emergency tire changes. Keep them in a Ziploc bag and leave them in the left 
trunk cubby area for easy access. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.